Schools around the country tried to keep up appearances for their virtual graduations uh, and graduation ceremonies. The fact is not walking the stage to receive your diploma in front of friends and family was a major bummer for the class of 2020. So some students chose to celebrate their own way, such as Anne McKee, a star on the track and field team at Bowdoin College. On Saturday morning at 630, Anne started running from the Bowdoin campus in Brunswick all the way home to Hollowell, more than 30 miles. Friends and family gathered along her route to cheer her on. Anne's boyfriend and her sister Kate ran alongside for part of the way. Amanda first met Anne back in January. Her track coach introduced us to this star athlete and accomplished musician. On a Saturday in Brunswick, Let's get fired up. athletes warm up for the day's track and field meet Are we fired up? at Bowdoin College. This is a field full of athletic standouts from Fort Kent to Massachusetts, and among those at the head of the pack is Bowdoin senior Anne McKee. What she does on the track is hard enough, but it's what she does with the rest of her days that would make your head spin. Try to keep up. Usually I try to get up pretty early. I like to think of myself as a morning person, have breakfast, practice a couple hours in the morning, go to class, so I usually eat my lunch and study while I work in the music library. Usually another class, practice a little more violin, come here to the field house and see a lot of friends and run with them, go to team dinner with the whole team and then study some more and practice more violin or have an orchestra rehearsal. As a kid in Hollowell, Anne was bitten by the running bug early during her first fun run. We always ran kind of as a family. We were pretty active and so she started running. I picture her, a little tiny Anne and her little uh, first 5K, um, and then she really picked it up, of course, in middle school, and then she was a real star throughout high school, and then came to Bowdoin and has run all of her seasons here at Bowdoin. 48 four, Anne. Having that drive seems to be a McKee family trait. Five, right on the money. Keep your focus. It's not unusual to see Walt McKee on the sidelines cheering his daughter on. I get the jitters every single race. As she runs in her main event, the 5,000 meter. All right, Ann, you're just racing yourself now. Both of his girls attend Bowdoin, just a short drive away from home. Thanks. Great job, Ann. But frankly, uh, I would have uh, gone and watched her regardless of where she was. Even if she was in California, I might have made it out every week. Got to go, 44, 45. Way to go. Hammer down, Ann. While Ann spends hours a day training for her Bowdoin track meets, she also has traveled the world running ultra marathons. Those, by the way, are the ones that go up mountains. All you got, all you got. And that's just for fun. Good race, very solid, very consistent. At least it is for someone like Ann. Oh man, good workout. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Wonderful. Thanks. Runners can be yeah. very tough on themselves, and I think high-level musicians probably have that too. Mountains aside, Anne admits her biggest challenge came this fall when she performed the first movement of a Brahms violin concerto, an incredibly complex piece. This fall was definitely the peak of all peaks in terms of that, and um, usually practicing between two and a half and five hours a day. To be a great violinist, you have to practice all the time, and so that's every single day, even when you're on vacation, even when you're in the Bahamas. Uh, you had to bring your violin and you had to practice. Even in a stairwell at a track meet. For four years at Bowdoin College, Anne's two passions have come together inside this field house. The way distance running works is you've got to be ready to give 100% probably through the first 80% uh, of the race. Somewhere around uh, the 2.7 mile mark, she will have given everything she's got. And then you have to learn to go another a quarter mile or half mile, even after you've given everything you've got. Just 30 minutes after Anne has given everything she's got and then some, <laughs> she gives a little more. Today's national anthem will be, play, will be played by the winner of today's 5,000 meter run, Odin Senior, Anne McKee. There's 
a joy in her running and a joy in her music. Playing the violin and having it ring throughout the field house is just a pretty special thing. A field house in which competitors, at least for the moment, aren't competing. Instead, they're captivated. Anne graduated this past weekend with a degree in history and environmental studies. She minored in Japanese. She was hoping for a fellowship and she just found out she got one through the Island Institute in Rockland. Over the next two years, Anne will live and work on Islesboro, helping at the school there. She also hopes to coach some runners. Congratulations to Anne McKee and all of the graduates in the class of 2020.